I go to the bathroom sometimes in that bucket you see over there. Bucket that came with the commode I purchased. Like I repeatedly say, survival mode. Okay? I'm in fucking survival mode. It's absolutely astounding to me. That nobody around here can even just offer to get my mail for me. Just get my mail. That's it. Not even every day. Just once in a while. Remember, God sent women who are supposed to care about me. So, as we've learned, never cared about me. As far as I'm concerned, if you genuinely care about someone, you cannot just stop caring about them. And you could sit there and say, well, that's not true. Would it look at you and your online friend, Tina? Yeah. I did genuinely care about Tina. I gave her more than one chance. I, w I bent over backwards to have her come here visit me and my mom. And in the end, she didn't want to stay. And I bent over backwards to arrange for her to have a flight back. And instead of being appreciative, she turned into a freaking, I couldn't even believe it. Couldn't believe how unappreciative she was. I couldn't believe how she was behaving, and I was never going to talk to her again. And then she contacted me via my YouTube channel, and I hadn't read like 50, I hadn't read texts from her, I deleted them without reading them, I hadn't read tons and tons of emails, so Lord only knows what they said, but I saved them all. And I decided to just let it go and give her a chance. And then she turned around and pissed me off again. Oh, my God. God's a woman. It just all happened in one day. So she's just not going to have anything to do with me anymore. And her solution is for me to call the person she knows. I've given her repeated examples. Has treated me badly. That's what gets me. She's acting like my aunt is still my mom's guardian conservator when she's not. You need to call your aunt. Your aunt's family. She doesn't know she broke your foot. She's not going to give a fuck. I broke my foot, bitch. Rather people not be kind to me at all if they just can shut it off like that. Unreal. Unreal. But she had said she would get my mail once in a while. Remember, cutting me off means she wants nothing to do with me anymore. She's able to do that. She's able to just, just, sh like that. It's unreal. After I read you those notes that she sent to me in the car, I didn't ask her to say, you can, anytime you need a ride, it's fine. I didn't ask her to, to show so much caring for me. And then she could just cut me off. Like she never cared about me at all. The same with those assholes. Yeah, like I said, Omar is going to the bathroom in the house. I try not to have him do it. Sometimes he's faster than I can have him at least pee outside. And I do pee and I do go to the bathroom in that bucket sometimes. It came with my commode. Sometimes it's either that or I'll wind up going to the bathroom in the bed or something, you know? By the time I get him on the chair safely and whatnot.
I'm trapped here. No one will even get my fucking mail from me. Yet they're bitching about the goddamn lawn. Unreal. Mind blowing to me. Unreal. It's unreal to me. Knows I'm going through this ordeal alone. Fucking bitch. Fucking cunt. Wish you'd never been nice to me in the first place. Same with them over there. I wish they'd never fucking been nice to me in the first place.
Physically and emotionally, everything fucking hurts. Everything hurts. Thank quote God unquote. my fucking music. I get endlessly fantasize about what well, I'm going through. It. Oh, hell. Good ever fucking happens to me in existence ever. Okay, throw crumbs. I have a broken foot and they're acting like I'm just sitting here depressed or something. You know? It's unfucking believable. Six fucking world, six fucking people. Why did my so called that have been friends for me during this whole thing? Both of them, husband and wife, friends. I break my foot and I ask if she can drive, I give her a week in advance and then I never hear from her again. Unfucking believable people. <laughs> These godsend women, which I'm not going to call her that anymore, had an excuse. Not a fucking excuse to cut me off completely. Like she never cared about me at all. That's unreal to me. But them? What the fuck is up with her? I thought she was my goddamn fucking friend. Literally. I gave you numerous proof of why I would think she was my friend. Fucking cunts. They better not say one fucking word to me. If I ever get out of this fucking hell mess. They better not say one fucking word to me. Get out of my face. I don't do phony. I know most people on this planet do phony. Where they'll have no problem. I just cut you off and I didn't talk to you the entire time and I never returned your calls, but if I see you in the street, I'm going to say hi like I never rejected you and never hurt you or anything. I mean, unreal. Get out of my fucking face. any of them, including her!
She's not even returning my fucking calls. All I want from her is to get my goddamn mail. And it's been a week. It's not like I asked her for anything. It's not like I called. It's not like she's called me to see how I'm doing. She can't get my fucking mail. It's been a whole week. Again, people who don't even return your fucking calls or texts make me puke. They make me fucking puke. None of them, I'm not even going to say hi to anybody in this goddamn neighborhood anymore. If I ever can walk again, I'm not saying hi to any fucking buddy. Gone is going to be the girl who smiles sweet and talks to everybody. They're going to complain about the goddamn lawn. They don't even, they know I have a broken foot and can't even offer to get my fucking mail for me. In which case I can give them a letter to mail to my mom to say you need to take care of your fucking lawn and your fucking house. I have no cash. I have nobody to call. And for some god awful reason, your fucking phone goes straight to voicemail and you never pick up and it goes straight to voicemail for five fucking months which tells me you're leaving it open. You're paying $32 a month to leave it open. Why? What is the goddamn point of that? wonder what I say in the twilight zone. What the fuck is the point? I have serious reservations about what's happening with my mother living there with her sister. And seriously. Does my mom not even have her own phone? Does she only have a phone if, if, if the, you know, anything could be happening? It's a case of total, just, whatever. It's sick. My aunt's a sick fucking bitch and she tells me to call her! Unreal! when I've given her numerous, numerous proof. I mean, person, if that woman had not come through for me, what would I have done? You know, seriously. They have no problem. Oh, it's red tape, it's this, that, whatever. You know, they have no problem if you go nuts. Oh, then they'll come with a white peep coat they wear and drag you away to the funny farm for you to save you and get rid of your dog and put your dog to sleep and whatnot. But meanwhile, red tape, I can't get to where I need to get to get my stu stupid PT1 transportation so I can get to my ortho appointment. You know what I mean? I needed the transportation. That's just how it goes. That's, that's the way it's set up, I know. It's friggin' bullshit. It's all friggin' bullshit. That's why they all say in that state of mind video, this world runs like a machine. Donald said the same thing originally in his tape. You know, to me. People are controlled. This world is like a friggin' machine. If you don't act like that, you're viewed as crazy. You refuse to take part in the goddamn bullshit. Yeah, state of mind says keep keep.
keep acting like a fucking machine. That's what they want. They want everyone to just be fucking robots. That's what the powers that be want. Everyone's playing right into their goddamn hands. Except for a handful of us. A little more than a handful, but you get what you get. I'm saying. Thank <laughs> you. 
doing this. I shouldn't have done it the first time. It fucked up my knee. The, the knee that's attached to the bad foot. Oh. he doesn't jump down blind and hit the walker like he's done. I learned my lesson. I guide him. Okay? But I didn't give him any food. I'm going to let him out and then I'm going to get up. Again. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go out there. Go in the kitchen. Go on. Go get water. Go do whatever. No, oh my go out in the kitchen. Go get water, go do whatever. See, my breath sag, but I can't tell in a bra. They look good in a bra, don't they? <laughs> Besides, I could get them. I could get them. If I had money, I could get them lifted if I wanted to. And then they wouldn't sag. And as I repeatedly said, it's not like any guy has ever, you know. been in bed with me and, and, and bitched that my, my breasts out. You know what I mean? The one night stands and whatnot were just happy to be in bed with the hot blonde. And so was Doug. He, he's not going to say anything about my breasts out. This is how I'm designed. I was designed. Look good in a bra. Buy a lot of women's breasts sag and they wear a good bra and a supportive bra. Look good in a bra. And then your lover's supposed to be happy to be in bed with you and, you know, not critiquing every little thing about your body. Otherwise, he or she, as the case may be, wouldn't have went to bed with you in the first place.
learn to do in this situation. You reach. Ah. Ow, ow, ow. I'm coming home. I'm going to feed you. And then try to, to get you outside. And I put stuff. And I carried this, this my soup and this glass thing. You know, I put it in a bag and then I carry it. Looks out good. This is the only way to do it, otherwise when I'm getting up like this, he will jump on my foot or, on, or hit the walker or do whatever. Whatever he will do is what you can't be doing. You can't put any weight on the foot. Oh, God. 